Do you know your neighbors? People in Orangevale shocked when we uncovered several convicted sex offenders were living in the same house. But that was just the beginning. CBS 13's Marley Ginter joins us with what she discovered when she tried to find out how many other sex offenders were in that area. Marley. Uh, Elizabeth and Tony, of course, if you want to know if there's a sex offender living near you, the go-to website, the Megan's Law website. But check out what happened. When I plugged in an address where I know a sex offender lives, this is what showed up. A blank screen saying no offenders matched my search. But I know that's not the case. It's a tight-knit neighborhood where everyone keeps a close eye on who joins their community, and some aren't welcome. This is ridiculous. I want him out of here. That's twisted. Um, yeah, I don't want him here. We told you about three sex offenders living at the same house on Drywood Way in Orangevale, but not everyone knew about it, and finding that information wasn't easy. You see, when we plugged in the address on Megan's Law, a message popped up showing no sex offenders listed at that address, but we didn't stop there. I don't want these people living across the street from me. They didn't no, have my right exactly. family. But you don't have a choice. They have a legal right to live there. And what we discovered caused quite a bit of conversation at the neighborhood watch meeting. The big question, do you really know who lives next door? After all, it wasn't just the Orangevale address that didn't check out. I discovered nearly a dozen more convicted sex offenders who don't show up when you run a search on their address in Megan's Law. I don't know what's going on if things haven't been updated, but something's not right. I took my findings to the attorney general's office. They researched the names and addresses, saying a number of them appear to be working on their end and that they'll have their technical team look into it. Bottom line, you may have to do more digging in order to find out who really lives next door. This is a message to all of my neighbors. Please be vigilant and be aware. Now, once we shed light on the Orangevale address that was not checking out on the Megan's Law website, the Attorney General's office looked into it and the issue was fixed as of this morning. Still, I brought other addresses to them. Again, they are looking into it to see what is going on. What an eye-opening update, Marley. Thank you.